McDonald's is one of the cheapest places to eat, right? Well, not always. The chain sometimes uses various sneaky methods to try and get us to spend even more money at the counter and drive-thru. Curious as to how exactly Mickey D's is doing this? Here's all the need-to-know info. The human brain is a pretty spectacular organ that can do lots of incredible things. That being said, it can also be exploited rather easily for profit. Take, for instance, the fact that some restaurants, like McDonald's, don't feature dollar signs on the menus. The reason behind this sneaky move is to make potential customers more likely to buy McDonald's food. But why would a person be more likely to purchase a meal if it didn't have a dollar sign at the front of its price? Restaurant consultant Aaron Allen explained the rationale behind this trick to mental floss. Allen told the outlet that McDonald's removes the dollar signs from menus because they're a quote, pain point. Simply put, those dollar signs inconveniently remind you that you're spending actual money, as Allen notes. Thus, without the dollar signs, you are more likely to impulsively make the purchase rather than consciously think it over. Like a truckload of other companies, McDonald's has a loyalty rewards program that gives out points for each in-store purchase made by a customer. These points can then be traded in for free drinks and food on the customer's next visit. They can also be potentially used to receive other types of items that would typically cost you money. Now, the Mickey D's app might seem all hunky-dory to you, but it's worth reevaluating their program after taking a dive into a 2016 marketing report by Bond Brand Loyalty. In this document, the organization explained that they'd surveyed around 19,000 individuals and discovered that 66% of them alter what they buy if they're a part of a franchise's loyalty program. Respondents claim that they will often change what they purchase in order to maximize the number of points they receive. Pretty cool they've got rewards on fries now. The report indicates that if you're a part of a place's loyalty rewards program, there's a chance that you'll spend more money just trying to increase your total rewards points. So if you're using the McDonald's app with its reward program, maybe it's worth thinking about whether or not you're actually sinking extra cash into it. And if you do, perhaps it's time to wave goodbye to this not-so-convenient service. In 2015, viewers might have caught McDonald's digital menus on YouTube, where they saw how these boards advertise what's available for purchase at various Mickey D's franchises. During this video, a narrator explains that the updated McDonald's menus will feature moving food pictures. They can also change what's being promoted, depending on the time of day or night. The narrator also admits that these digital menus suggest food pairings that could change what a customer orders. In the video, the narrator says, most people would love the delicious pairing of McCafe drinks with desserts and don't even know it. So, we help them connect the dots. As the narrator explains this, a picture of a McCafe beverage next to some cookies is displayed on one of the corporation's menu boards. You may even be distracted by other subtle menu tricks, like the small animations McDonald's adds to its digital boards. If you were to go into a McDonald's to just purchase a hot drink, like a simple coffee, you might see this very board. If it pushes you to add the chain's yummy baked goods to your order, then McDonald's would have made you spend more money than you anticipated. If you were to head out in the hopes of grabbing a snack, you'd probably be disappointed if the fast food restaurant that sold them had increased the item's price overnight. McDonald's Australia did exactly this with its hash browns in 2017, as reported by Perth Now. According to a McDonald's employee interviewed by the news outlet, one day, the McDonald's hash browns were $1.95. The next, they were $2.20. McDonald's hash browns may be a little funny looking, but they sure taste great with your favorite breakfast. Soon after the restaurant implemented this price hike, not all of their customers were impressed with this decision. One patron even went so far as to call the price hike, quote, outrageous and ridiculous. A spokesperson for McDonald's commented on this situation by saying, we're proud to offer our customers great value, but like all business, from time to time, we review our prices, which may result in slight changes. It's also worth noting that McDonald's Australia has changed the cost of their menu items on more than this one occasion. In 2019, New Idea Food reported that the chain had raised the price of their famous Big Mac by 50 cents. This news gained some traction, where few people were happy to see the new expense at Macca's, as it's popularly known in Australia. According to the New York Times, not every McDonald's drive-thru is the same as it used to be years ago. Now, when you visit their drive-thru, chances are good that you'll encounter digital menu boards outside the restaurant. 
these boards are more sophisticated and customizable to be certain. They also use artificial intelligence to predict what a customer like you might be tricked into buying after you've already put in your order. Of course, this might result in you spending more money than you'd initially bargained for, all thanks to a sophisticated computer program. In the event that you're at an upgraded McDonald's drive-thru, try to resist this new era of upselling. After all, if you didn't order an item in the first place, then chances are good that you don't really want or need it. There's probably not much of a point in purchasing an extra dish just because Mickey D's or its fancy new drive through menu board suggests that you do so. If you've ever noticed the phenomenon of McDonald's menu items coming in at, say, $3.99 instead of a simpler $4, you may have had some questions. There's a simple but potentially disappointing reason for the weird pricing, according to Live Science. Lee E. Hibbett, a marketing professional at Freed Hardeman University, told the publication that these items just sell better. He explained that, because we read from left to right in English, we might unconsciously think that the first number in a price is the most important. So if you notice that a product costs $4.99 at one place and $5 at another, you could be led to believe that the scarcely cheaper version is the superior purchase. According to Real Menu Prices, quite a few McDonald's menu items use this little trick. For instance, their Big Mac, their six-pack of Chicken McNuggets, their sausage with egg on a biscuit meal, their steak, egg and cheese bagel, and two of their Egg McMuffin meals each cost $3.99. It takes a little extra mental effort to remind yourself that all of these products are only one cent away from $4. Red and yellow are pretty common colors in the world of fast food. As the journal Management Decision reported, it's a common belief in the marketing community that these two colors can affect a person's mood. Some argue that the color red can impact a person's metabolism in such a way that the person will suddenly become hungry. Moreover, various marketers reckon that yellow may also intensify a potential customer's appetite. All the better for fast food restaurateurs trying to make some extra cash. While these beliefs aren't fully backed up by scientific experiments, they have certainly influenced our culture and fast food joints across the world. The color red is favored by some quick-service restaurants like McDonald's because it's believed that it'll make a location's customers want more food while yellow will supposedly help to quickly sell products. Whether or not consumers' tastes are really influenced by these hues, the notion that they can do so is now fully entrenched in fast food culture. Careful observers will have already noticed that there are only two colors used in the McDonald's logo. The restaurant chain uses a bright yellow M, popularly known as the Golden Arches, on a similarly eye-catching red background. Do with this information what you will. Occasionally, McDonald's will host McDonald's Monopoly, a game that partly consists of purchasing Mickey D's products that sport little tokens similar to those found in the popular board game. These tokens may provide you with a free meal or a bit of money. Some tokens are part of unique sets, such as Pennsylvania Avenue or B&O Railroad. If you collect all of the tokens in a specific set, then you're eligible to win a big prize. All right, three, one, two, three. I just want a Shell gas card. I just want a new Fiat 500 Cabrio. Road Road trip! Trip! <laughs> this game has influenced some of its players' purchasing habits. Indeed, there have even been instances where the company has admitted that this is its ultimate goal. In 2003, Chris Hess, the marketing store's vice president of strategic business partnerships, told Promo Magazine that McDonald's added an online component to this experience which enticed its player base. Hess explained to the outlet, we found that when people play the online Monopoly game, there's a level of customer engagement that keeps them coming back. They're quicker to get back into the store and revisit. The Toronto Star reported that McDonald's Monopoly was partly responsible for increasing their overall sales by 5.6% throughout the month of October. So these games might seem worth it for the fast food giant. Yet they could make you return to a McDonald's faster in the hopes of winning big, all while spending your actual money. In 2018, McDonald's launched its $1, $2, $3 dollar menu in the United States. This ultra-cheap menu had a very self-explanatory name, as every item on its list cost $3 or less. One of the biggest selling points for this menu, arguably, was the fact that consumers could snag an entire burger for a mere buck. How can these low-cost McDonald's products turn a profit for the chain? 
University of Michigan Dearborn economics professor Patricia Smith explained the McDonald's plan to the BBC. As Smith explained to the news outlet, McDonald's will make money selling burgers for a buck if it can make the burger for less than one dollar and sell lots and lots of burgers. Smith went on to add that part of McDonald's strategy is to attract consumers into the store and then entice them to buy more than just a burger, like fries, drinks, and desserts. So how did this plan turn out for them? In 2019, Business Insider reported that McDonald's had scrapped their $1, $2, $3 dollar menu because it just didn't live up to the company's ambitions. If you're the sort of person that doesn't want to be upsold by a McDonald's cashier or drive through you might head to one of their self-serve kiosks. These new additions to the McDonald's sales arsenal might offer some peace and quiet, but don't think you'll escape the upselling even here. As Restaurant Business reported, McDonald's have been steadily adding these kiosks to stores that have undergone refurbishment. Early data indicates that people regularly spend more at these machines than if they were talking to a real-life McDonald's employee at the now relatively old-fashioned counter. If you want your next McDonald's visit to be a cheap one, it turns out that ordering your meal at a kiosk might not be your best bet. Then again, an in-person order could mean that Mickey D's worker may try to upsell additional menu items to you, while their drive through menu subconsciously suggests that you buy some extra items. If you really want to save some cash, decide on your order ahead of time and resist the sneaky ways that McDonald's gets you to spend more money. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more MASH videos about your favorite fast food are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.